without the minerals coming in, you can't make units. As you can see, I still have more minerals and gas than I would like at this point. At any point in the game. I want to keep both numbers under 500 at all times. You know, anything more than that, and I'm, f and I'm not doing as well as I should. Okay, enough about that. Let's go back into the game. Let's get the... Let's get it rolling a little bit here. I do have medevacs out here. No siege tanks yet. Um, more medevacs on the way. Marines and marauders on the way. Once again, five racks. I would love for more racks up. Um, I need to be getting... Well, I, I'm getting a lot here. As you can see, these guys are now going to be 2-1 by the time this army moves out. There's no... He's got too many medevacs here. Look at all those medevacs. 16 medevacs. I mean, he's got a lot of units here, so it might add up overall, but these things are expensive. Okay, let me pause it again, and let's do just a quick check here. Terran player, 3,100. Protoss player, 500, 1,900. Me, 1,200, 200. I'm going to say that I'm doing the best job right now. But that's relative. You could make the argument that the Protoss player is doing the better job in mineral management. But I'm 195 supply. I have somehow gotten more supply without map control than they have this entire game. So now they're moving in once again. They're not synced up. So I'm finally moving in now. There goes his stim. His stim is late. Mine's a little early. And as you might imagine, I still lose here. It's 2v1. There's not much you can do. All those medevacs did help him out. Um, a couple of my medevacs are going to make it out alive. And here he focused down my refinery, which I'm kind of cool with. Kinda not. I would. I need more gas right now. That's one of my big problems. But then he gets in range of my planetary fortress, and so I just massively repair it. He's starting to focus down on the SCVs, so I start to to put the SCVs on the immortals here, and I forgot uh, to to repair the planetary fortress. But the immortals died to my SCVs. I will say that again. I beat three immortals with a planetary fortress and SCVs. There goes the last one there. So now he knows that I have the third one, he, the third planetary fortress here. So I'm going to repair it here. I'm going to secure that with my army. There, why is not there no follow-up? Where is the repair? Do I repair it? No, I don't. Oh, so horrible, horrible management from me. Oh, I didn't get the bases secured like I needed. But I'm instant, you know, I've got enough minerals to make that up. But there's really no excuse for that to go, for, for those to go down. Um, so now he's moving in with some stalkers. Derek is. I'm not used to having two opponents, so I don't know what to call them. And look how look how valuable these upgrades are. I mean, he had more of an army there than I did. But I took it out because these guys are now 2-2. Two, two. His, his entire unit base, is, but all of them are 0-0. Zero, zero. Am I getting, yeah, weapons... Oh, did they just get weapons level 3? They did, so this is now a 3-2 army. Oh, it looks like I did a medevac drop, so hold on. Let me pause it and go back. Let's find out when that happened. I don't want to show this screen here, because I don't like it when people show off that screen. When was that? Oh, it's been there a while. Sorry, guys. I did not notice that. I was trying to figure out what was going on. I'm like, there was something. Wow. Okay.
let's speed up so I can get back up to speed to to where we were. Okay, so this is before the army comes in. There we go. I go for the the medevac drop first, and then the army comes in. That initial army that wiped me out. I figured this army would would win. It would have won even if I did not uh, get these units in there. Uh, these guys are, are of course fully loaded with marines and marauders. Um, and thanks to that I notice Derek's third base here, which still has no income. Then I drop inside Axis E's base because I feel like he's been the stronger opponent to this point. And I, I, I still hold to that. I think he has. I'm taking out all the supply depots. I took out all the add-ons on all the barracks here. And he comes in with all these medevacs, and there's no army. He queued them all up. There we go. There's the army finally coming in. My army will die. Okay, now we're back to where we were. So I'm sending my, uh, my medevacs back. Uh, he's fi Derek has finally transferred here. As you can see, I I'm doing the best job, yes, by far, of spending what minerals I do have, and I've also spent the most. So I'm not only getting more income, I'm also spending it. That is what's hugely important. I'm getting the uh, armor level 3 upgrade, going to go for two command centers. Um, I kind of wanted to wait until those were up well, at least uh, starting to be produced before I started spending uh, the minerals for it. Um, losing track of the orbital command there and its energy. But, you know, this Nexus... He's got three Nexus... Nexus I with full... full energy. He's got two orbital commands with full energy. He's got 5,000... 2,000. If that was spent in army, it'd be game over right now. But I look how much I took out with that drop. He still is not, hasn't landed the starports. He's down to two racks. And that's it. He could have two starports too, but they're, they have to land for that. And looking at the income count, or the income tab, sorry. Yeah, they took out a lot of my harvesters. And as a result, I'm l very low on gas. I'm pretty low on minerals. I'd l once again like that to be lower. But I'm moving in here with... These upgrades are really going to pay off for me here. Um, because as of yet, they have... Oh, here we go. 2-2 two, two on the stalkers. So yes, there are some upgrades from my opponents. But 2-2 two, two isn't going to match 3-2. You know what I mean? Especially since I have these medevacs to help out. I do have both these base back up somewhat running. Meanwhile, he does push in and he blinks in. Never, never, never blink in to a standing army like that. Now this is where the upgrades really start to show their power. I, I was able to take out the Protoss player's army because it was smaller. Then the Terran's army came in and I was able to take that out because he was unupgraded. He had to cancel, I believe those were bunkers that were all there, canceled them all. So I'm moving in and I'm just taking pot shots at Medivax now. Look at the army tab here. He's down, I mean this is 400, 400 of his army and it's just going to explode on the way back to his base because he's not paying attention just like these guys here are not being paid attention to so I'm moving in I feel like okay I won again I have to go for a counter here fine I'll go for a freaking counter he's just now getting four of his barracks is back up I'm moving in I want to go for the Terran space because I feel like I can put the nail in the coffin take him out make this a 1v1 and it looks like yeah the protest player once again blinking in don't blink in you blink out when a unit 
is not is going to be low on health it might die you bring him out um, I tried to do some micro there then I realized oh I'd be microing into my opponent's base where there might be siege tanks or something but there's not there there are six racks now and that's it um, yeah access is down to one mining base right now as I'm I'm amazed right now I really was uh, how am I winning this I, I'm going in with basically, you know, maybe two medevacs worth of units, and I'm wiping out my opponents? Two of them? Once again, full energy here. He's down to one mining base, and he is going for a massive ball of barracks, simply because he has got the supply he's got the minerals for it he still has the supply for it because i have not gone in his base reinforcements are finally here i'm stimming up and taking these out and once again one pylon three buildings they all go down i'm trying to take out the mining facilities here um <laughs> access he goes for uh yeah this is pretty common and this um derek just left the game yeah. So let, let's go ahead and pause it right there. It's the 33 minute mark. This is going to be a long video. It might have to be split into two. Look at the army tab. I'm absolutely destroying everybody. I do have more than double their army right now. He's completely oversaturated here. Not enough saturation here. He never really got that back up. He's He does have the most harvesters out of any of us, but they're all doing nothing. He's got six here doing nothing. He's got... He's got... How many here? Seventeen on one mineral patch. And... How much... How many resources did he have? I mean, he... I, I, it's hard to tell how much he had, but now be, with their with their combined resources, ecstasy is now up to six thousand fifty six hundred. If you don't spend your money, there's no point in getting it. Spend it, and l like I, I wasn't trying to be mean. I was like seriously, because there's absolutely no reason for me to be even in this game, let alone winning. So I thought it was. Like, you know, there was something that was going to be going on inside my base that I just didn't realize. So yeah, a little bit of bad manners for me. It's not very often that you'll, that you'll ever hear me say that, yeah, I, that was bad of me. I should not have said that. But I was just absolutely shocked. What do you mean I'm winning? What do you... There's no reason for me to be winning. So he's now... <laughs> XZ is just going for a huge ball of supply depots and barracks, just trying to get an army back up. As you can see, it's spending a lot of his minerals, but none of his gas, pretty much. Medivacs are going to be healing up, so I'm kind of like, okay, um, where's, uh, where's your army now? So I'm not even bothering with this guy anymore. I mean, he had six gate, seven, eight gate up. And he never really got anything out of it. I mean, he hasn't gotten anything out of it for a long time. Look at that. Uh, he got the army a few times, but he never spent on e economy or technology. As compared to me or, you know, or his teammate, my other opponent. So I'm kind of going in and I'm like, okay, well, I don't... If, if this guy is left, um, then I'm just going to go in and destroy his base. Therefore... Um, you know, his teammate won't be able to use it. So let's see here. We've got how many? Eight, 13 racks. Have you ever, guys, have, has anybody ever seen 13 racks before? I have not. This is a first for me. 13 racks is on the way. Meanwhile, I'm just kind of multitasking here. I took out this, uh, this base down here. Uh, with my Marines, Marauders, and a couple Siege Tanks uh, still producing, it looks like um, not as much as I should. Uh, I am getting an expansion over here. 
um, almost mined out of both my expansions, almost fully mined out of uh, this guy here. Siege tanks, okay, once again, gotta stop it. What damage does this do? This does 35 damage. Okay, 35 damage to light. 50 versus armored, but he doesn't have any armored units. These are all... All marines here. Th he did get combat shield, I will give him that. So my tanks will not be one-shotting him. However, with the two of them together, they will be one-shotted. Okay, let's get... Let, let's start this again. Okay, now, you know what? 24, 48... 56. 56 marines up against 8. 14 marines, 7 marauders, and 2 siege tanks. But my guys are 3 3. My siege tanks don't have any upgrades. Let's see how this turns out. And he's rallying more in. At the end of it, I still have three marines and five marauders. And my two siege tanks. Six kills, nine kills. And now I'm going to be going into his base. That is the beauty of upgrades. That is what the gas is for. The 5,480 of it you have. I'm... I don't want to sound mean. I'm trying. I'm trying to teach. That's what I'm trying to do more more than anything else. So I still have four mar four marauders and two siege tanks. Ten kills, fourteen kills, nine six nine three. And I'm just kind of like, dude. Apparently, you need to leave. Uh, so I'm I, I'm literally just flabbergasted. I'm just kind of going through the motions here with my. You know, I'm still talking to my cousin on Skype, by the way. Uh, poor him. He's been out of the game for how long now? Yeah, um, he, he, he's a trooper, man. He stuck through this entire game. So I'm moving in, and I'm just like, I guess I'm going to win? And he's like, what do you mean? And so he GG's and leaves, and that's the game. Uh, what the hell? This was a 2v1... For over for almost a half hour of game time, this was a two v one, and the one is victorious. The one player won. Why did the one player win? Because they didn't spend. My opponents didn't spend their minerals. They didn't spend their gas. They didn't um, expand when they should. They didn't upgrade when they should. The Protoss player did finally get upgrades at the end. Um, but yeah, Captain Siege Tank. Yeah, boy. Um, I, I, I honestly, I have, I'm almost at a loss for words here. Um, when I had played this game, you know, this has actually happened before, that they have taken out either me or, or, or Carfizzle here, and we've come back to win. But it's never been a 40-minute game that that took place in. So I wanted to show you guys this one. As you can see, I fell apart in the production because it was clear that the game was over and I was going to win for no good reason. 3-3 uh, three, three Marines and Marauders are apparently... OP? Maybe? Well, against 0-0 zero, zero Marines uh, with Combat Shield and Stim Pack, yes. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. He actually stimmed them twice. He stimmed them as they came down here. Uh, a, a few of the Marines were out of range of the siege tanks, so he stimmed them again. That means that these tanks can one-shot him now. It's not always a good idea to stim when they're siege tanks. Uh, just food for thought for you guys. So wow, that was that was quite a game. As you can see, I'm not doing the best right now. Um, I've basically got 
um, one mining base between the two here. I've got a lot of gas coming in, uh, but not that much else. I need more SCVs. Um, I haven't been producing them for quite some time now. Uh, just been tr focusing on migrating my army because apparently that was all I needed to do, and I was right, that was all I needed to do. Uh, he had more uh, minerals income than I did, even though there's really no reason for him to do that. Uh, he got his supply count back up to 179, but if you're just going to do 0, zero Marines at the 38 minute mark, uh, don't expect to win. It just so much to be learned from this game. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Um, feel free to go over some of the things that you saw in this game. Uh, as to why I won the game, um, or even how I could have improved, obviously I could have. Uh, I didn't need to expand faster. Uh, I needed more higher end uh, production facilities. I need to actually produce out of them. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm at 155 supply. Good lord. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was quite, quite a game there. Wait, this guy has a probe somewhere? Where is the probe? Um, he's got an observer. He has two observers? He does have two observers. Don't put two observers together. Alright, I think I'm done here. By the way, the pylon still stands. Carfizzle was in it until the end. You guys just didn't notice. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, let me know if you want me to bring more of these, um, where basically it, it's facepalm moments from, from quite a few angles, both uh, me and my opponents, um, but it still works out um, that you can learn from, from both of our mistakes. Um, hope you guys laughed. I don't know if I was very funny this one, but whatever. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.